Welcome to the latest episode from Beyond That Blue Door. And today we're going to be talking about the pros, the cons and the little snagging things that have arisen in our new caravan. This is part one, so you're just going to see a bit of it today. I think we're on. Hello. It's um, it's our second week in France, and it's a rainy day today. It is. So we're hovering around. We had a long day out yesterday, so we're hovering around the caravan. I thought we'd do a bit of a catch up with you all. Right. Where do you want to begin? Well, let's begin first with the things that, uh, you know, when you live in a caravan for two whole weeks, you soon very quickly learn what things work really well what things work okay and what things simply don't work and you have a snagging list so we are in that position as you know we left swimming caravans um, with our new pride and joy and I had to come to more or less straight on holiday mm. so we're what nearly two weeks in and we're now in a position where we can update you on mm. what's right and wrong we do have a snagging list Mm. Um, there's only five things on there, which is actually pretty good. Mm. If you think about our first caravan, there was about a dozen or mm. so items that had to be fixed. On the last one, there was about eight. This one is five, so mm. they're getting even less. Mm. And uh, more so insignificant ones than they were on the first couple of caravans. But equally annoying. Equally annoying. But everything mm. is equally annoying, isn't it? Because mm. you buy, you know, spend in mm. this amount of dosh. So, my eyesight is not particularly fab. Can you read that? Yeah. Okay. Here are the things. Trim on the locker door. Yes. So, I'll show you a picture of that, and you can see what I mean by that. That is just one bit of silver trim. Somebody with fat fingers, obviously, was trying to put it back on, and it's something obvious. So, mm. yeah, that needs addressing. Uh, locker door lock stay. Now, on the locker door itself, there's a little circlip underneath that's supposed to hold the two stays in position. I do have a little bit of video, and I'll show you that too. Now, one other thing to mention is when I did this the first time, this, this silver lock mechanism fell off in my hand. The reason is because that little circlip that's in there was missing on that side, and they gave me several of them. I fit them all, and they keep falling out, so there's a major problem. So what I have is just a little tie for your rubbish, wrapped around that to keep it together. Something else for the snagging list. Last two on that list are to do with the window, and mm. we already have a video on that. So mm. Right, go on then. First of all, I've had to unlock all, all these catches, because they're locked on each one. And it's guesswork as to how you get this to work. Ooh, is there oil on it? No. <laughs> she... There doesn't seem to be a lug that holds it, or yeah, the, there is. The other one held it. Where, where, where? Does I, it I don't know. In? I don't know how I did it. I managed to get that one to stay up. Look. But this one. It will. Go up, and it's something to do with the stage. You have to, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know because it's they do go out and stay there. Maybe you have to do both the same side. I don't know. Same time. Well, it's got to be easy. Let's face it. If you're disabled, you've got no chance, have you? Well, you know, yeah. Or... Is it up? No. Well, it is if I stand here and hold it all night. Yeah. Right. So that one you've just unlocked, right? Yeah. All right, go on there. Try and get it into a position. Oh, it's got one cut. Okay. Right, okay. So I can't see whether I have any particular lugs. Oh, that's really greasy. So, right, is there a mug to this? I can't stand here and hold this all day. Right. Have you got it? No. No? Okay. Right, let's, let's do the other one. Because I found something, I think oh. I have an egg. Right. This one? Yeah. Now, this one I've already unlocked. Yeah. It's got four catches on it. 
But it's got two stays like yeah. that. Yeah. Right. Can you get that one stay up? No, I can see it pulling the whole thing. Do that thing That's great. That. Yeah. If you pull it too hard, the whole thing moves. See? Yeah. Do that again. You see the whole thing moving? Yeah. It's a bit rubbish. Yeah, have you got it though? No, I haven't got it. I All just right. have to make it stay. All right, come around this side. All right. Yeah. Can you see there are four holes? Yeah. Right. There's another, no, three holes. All right, okay. Right. If you pull it down really slowly, you'll be able to see a piece of metal that goes by that hole. Right. Uh, no. Keep going. Oh, there? Yeah. Right, so you, was that at the bottom? Uh, there. There. Do that again. There. So keep going, and then you'll see there's a little thing that comes out. Stop. Go back. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now let go. Clicked. Oh, yeah. Right. Now pull it up again and watch that clip go to that hole. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, Over it's there. there. It's there, is it? You can feel it. No, I can't feel it. I'm seeing it. No, no. There. Don't touch with that hand. Okay. Right. Here you go. If it's on, it'll click. Right, it's iron. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was on that one. That one. Yeah. How'd you get it? Oh, yeah, got that. So that that lug is actually in it. It's really hard to see though. Right, now lift it up and it'll release that. Yeah. Now you put it on that one. But I can't see it. Yeah. No, I can't see. You don't have to see it, you can feel it. No, I can't. There you go, uh, there you go. Okay. Did you feel it? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Right. Well, I'll have to do it this way. Okay. Because otherwise I can't see, can I? Yeah, you're correct. There's only two holes. Yeah. So up, up is the release. Yeah. Okay. There you go. No, but it's, it's not catching, is it? Yeah. Hang on, I can see where it's there. How do you make it catch? I can't see how you make it catch. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's on. I heard it click. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's there. Clicking. It's crap. What happened to, like, just do that side? Yeah, because that doesn't how you, work. How are you supposed to do that on the inside? Yeah. And you, you can, I can't feel it. So are you relying on seeing you, it? I, see, I did it there because I can feel it. Yeah. If you yeah. shut your eyes and just listen for the click, go on, do it. Yeah, but uh, Good. You, you, I, I, I how know. ridiculous is that? I know. On a caravan that costs this much to have to go. Uh, no, you're making a noise. Uh, there you go. There you go. I know. Sorry, I think it's crap. <laughs> And see all these windows at the front. Right, try that one. Because I've unhooked that one. <laughs> so that's only got it's got two stays on it, man. Okay, I'm gonna om um for this one. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're gonna om, um. go on then. Om. Um. Oh it worked, didn't it? So all my woo-woo stuff is true. <laughs> I think that's sorted. So, quick, I've managed to fix this. As you can see, there's, I'll fix it to a degree, that is. Um, the reason why I've got these clips up, by the way, to stop all this, because there was tape on it, is, uh, you can probably see it in your picture there, I've got the sign up. And because I don't know what side that's going to be on, depending on pitch we're on, that's why I put them on. But I've had to take this cover off in order to get to the this little bit of cable in order to try and get these together so yeah we'll do that later what's your feeling on the fact we don't have curtains anymore mm. we've done away with curtains in the front we just have this which is okay once it's clipped on it's nice and straight hence why it's on the snagging list mm. but 
you know, at night time you have that rather than curtains. Yeah, I'm not fast. I hardly ever pulled the curtains anyway, so I'm fine with that. Yeah. You can see it didn't quite fit, but anyway. But I'm glad you cracked the windows. Well, I wouldn't say I cracked it, Steve. I mean, can I work out how it works? But you know, I had to close my eyes and go uh, to try and close it. I mean, that's just bonkers. Yes, something I don't mind them getting rid of these, that's okay. Um, but you'd have been better off with mm. just knobs like we had before. Oh, that guy's got a satellite dish. Don't wind me up about satellite Stone, dishes. Don't. 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 Don't, don't go, there. go there. But luckily, the internet here is really good. So mm. streaming is not a problem. On the Sky Deal we have, they charge, what, £2 European roaming a day. Mm. And then, as you know, with the Sky Package deal, it's one of these rollover, whatever you don't use data. So we had something like 200 gig when we arrived. And we're using about 10 a day. Mm. So that's fine. Both TVs, fabulous. And I, I just think um, if you want to be connected, of course, and you want to actually watch television of some kind, you it's an essential that you have that. Yeah. For us, that's essential. Some of you might want to be totally cut off, not watch TV, not worried about being connected, just want to read your books and do your own thing. That's not us. But I suppose if we kind of got both in case the signal is rubbish, then you can, and you've got satellite mm. reception, you can use that or, or use a normal TV. Mm. So these were the snags that we found. Yeah. Right? Uh, things that were fundamentally wrong with the caravan in the first place. The rest of the list is like pluses and minuses. Yeah. Of things that we found. Yeah. Uh, Thing, uh, things that. Um do and don't suit us the way we use a caravan which may be really different to the way you or other people use a caravan we have a very specific way um so we've learned really quickly what works really well and what doesn't correct yeah and, and so i mean obviously these are not everything for everybody um there are just some things that we found mm. that perhaps weren't seen at the time but now we've been using it for a, a week or 10 days and then you know they are quite annoying so you'll have to read that list because I can't okay. see that either. Here we go. Well, obviously we'll show you bring some on. of these. I can bring that forward yeah, bring it. So obviously we can show you some of these, others not so easily. So, right. Um, one thing we identified really early on is the underbed storage, which looks, when you look at our bed, looks like it's going to be fantastic. It's rubbish. Rubbish. Now, we understood, or we knew, that because this is where they store the storage tank, mm. excuse the pun, for, the, water. There, for <laughs> water, the actual water tank, then some of it would be lost. But the spare tyre is right smack in the way, right? So it means you've got like four quarters of storage, two of which are taken up by other objects. So storing big objects like um, chairs or tables or, I don't know, umbrellas for the beach, anything that requires length is impossible. So that's the underbed storage. Now, we did know that the tank was going to be there, but in terms of that, it just takes up so much room. Get rid of all that, and then we can use all this to put all the storage in it. So what we've had to do to get round that is just before we came away, we did spot that before we left, um, is that we ordered an Alco under storage sling if you like for yeah. the spare tire i can't remember what it's called um so and that will then free up all that space so we can address that need when we get to it however that does mean two things more cost which i wasn't really planning on yeah um but also five kid grams of additional weight to come off our payload but as we have enough that's okay so but that will then free up all that space but also the plastic housing around the bed is really flimsy as soon as you touch it it's like wobbly yes. and you go bloop, bloop, like yeah. that so uh, you can't rely on that you've got to almost pretend that isn't there to put stuff in mm. because it, it cannot carry any weight whatsoever yes okay next on our list then yeah um the shower now overall the shower is a huge success we oh, really yeah. like it yeah. it's much bigger it's you can get in and out easily with the water tank it means you can have a shower in comfort the water doesn't run out um and therefore this whole holiday we've used the shower in the caravan which i have never done ever no i always have used the showers on site 
um, but I've been able to use the shower, so that is really good. But there's, Steve is a perfectionist, and there's one bit that he really doesn't like. And it's the trim. See, it's the wrong colour. That's beige, isn't it? Yeah, it's the wrong colour. One thing we both found which is really beneficial is the ability to stay in the shower. Now, that's not because it's got a bigger tank, because you need two things. You need hot water. You don't want to stay in the shower with a free, well, whim off, of course, but you could be. But underneath here, there is, well, obviously where all the electrics and the mover is, there's this thing, and it's called an Audi flow. So your water comes into this, this preheats and stores six extra litres of water at a really good temperature before it then goes into the boiler. So this Audi flow is, is new to us. Uh, the rest of it's all the same, but this, in conjunction with the tank, and in conjunction with the fact you can stay in the shower a long time, absolutely brilliant. Um, and also, th there's some lights missing in the bathroom, isn't it? Which I hadn't even noticed, but you did. So, well, as, as, a, as a man, when you're kind of facing the toilet, then you're looking at all the nice lights on all the shelves, all bar one. As in, as in they forgot to add lights, so I'm going to have to address and fix that issue. Mm. But that's, I don't know. But anyway, so another yeah, thing. Yeah, it's, it's cosmetic. It drives you nuts. See, that looks all right at the top there, but there is one row of missing lights. I mean, why have they done that? Obviously, you don't need it on the toilet, but that middle one. Oh, that drove me nuts. Um, from an Alco lock on the, um, again, on the exterior side of things. Um, actually, they're fairly easy to fit, but there's pluses and minuses. I do have a film, play film. Right, let's talk Alco locks. Well, as with everything over the years when we change things, there's a plus and minus to everything. So what's the plus about these? Well, as you can see, they have this odd shape. No, and that's because when they're in position, they actually cover up a couple of wheel nuts which is actually quite good however I have kept the old versions of these because this is really useful because inside there well, I'll do that in a second there is this little thing where this slots in quite nicely enough for you to be able to undo and take it off but that's missing on the new levers when you get them that's got lots of a bung on the end and that's it. Nothing else is on there. So it has a plus and a minus. The plus being that bit, the minus being that. So I've given the new owner the new ones and I'll have the old braces instead. Now whilst we're on the outside of the caravan, let's address the awning rail bit. Because remember the front cover goes on the front and the awning rail entry points are higher than they should be. Cue that video. Something else we found on this as well. The only rail inlet on the previous caravan and the one before was down here. But on this one, they're all the way up there. So you have to feed it in like that and then go all the way up until the bottom of this is up there so you can slide it back down again. Is that good or bad? Bad, in my view. Okay. Because that means it's the right pain in the ass to be able to put this in. Mm. So it must have been. It's okay, it's the same as, it's just that that was down there and now it's all about there. Mm. So come on Swift, why have you changed this? Mm. And we did have an issue here, didn't we? Where you put the key in, the twisty <coughs> thing, when you pulled it out, it just, all the screws came out. And it so was a what pig. what this is, is the lock on the inside. Mm. Way, but it's far too stiff and it fell apart. So we've had to screw that back together, but that'll be another thing that'll be on the snag in there. Yeah, we want that replaced, because that's got to be practical. Well, the thing is, that lock, it's the same for all the outside locks. Yeah. And it, and it shouldn't be very, very difficult to use. It has to be easy to no, use no, for everybody. I mean, that's almost a two-hand job to be able to undo it. Yeah. That's not good. Um, one of the things that's really irked me massively is there appears to be loads of storage particularly in the bedroom area and the bathroom but actually what there is are loads of pointless tiny little shelves that for me i am not uh get everything out and put it in the cupboards person 
Um, I don't have loads of jewellery and loads of makeup that goes everywhere. Yep. So most of those shelves are empty and pointless. They are particularly pointless in the little cupboard for this table on which this camera is um, standing. And the table is a whole other thing. I'll talk about that in a minute. Pointless. There are no cupboards, no spaces in this caravan for things that are tall, like an umbrella. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So where the table is, and we'll show you this, there are two shelves above it, which are long, thin shelves like that. Actually, useless. Useless. They're not long enough to put, say, an umbrella in. You can't stand it up because it doesn't fit in with the table. So they are totally pointless. It would be better to just remove them totally and allow you to put taller objects in Shall there. we address this table whilst we're at that? Yes. Because yes. this table must weigh three and a half tons. I'm <laughs> lying about that. But the weight of it. Why don't they get in touch with Isabella? They make light pick up with one finger yeah. tables. This is not like that at all. This weighs three tons and you've got to store it at the back of the caravan. So you, every time you want it, you have to go and drag it out yeah. and then put it up together again with these clunky metal feet. You don't need this stuff. No, it's, it's, it's too wide. Uh, it could do with being an inch each side. So if Steve and I are working, which we often do, we have to get up and push the table one way or the other so we can sit down. Um, it's really impractical. And in fact, we will be replacing this with a table that works better for us so we don't have to lug it. Because even when the day is in bed, the bed, sorry, even when the bed is in day mode, it's really difficult to get this heavy table round the bottom to the cupboard to put it away. You've kind of got to lift it up on top of the bed, walk around the bed and lift it again. If you had any kind of mobility issues or anything like that, you would that, not you? be able to use this table at all. Yeah. It's pants. As you can probably tell, I found that table really annoying. More on that next time. Please like, subscribe and hit the little bell.